check out all my books on audible.com. Hi folks, Dr. Bob. The top 10 foods you do not want to eat. Uh, top of my list is soy. Um, soy is one of the worst foods you could possibly put into your body. Um, it's got phytic acid and other things called glycogens, you know. So that inhibits the, the thyroid so you don't, in, you know, you're not producing uh, thyrosine and all these other these hormones that you need. Um, you know, it interferes with the uptake of iodine into the thyroid. You know, every drop of blood goes to the thyroid every 15 minutes. And so the medical establishment just loves to take that out. They burn it out with radiation. Um, it also has uh, phytohemagglutin, that's PHG. Um, that's like blood glue, and uh, so you want to avoid it for that. Uh, you know, they use it in all these uh, infant formulas. They stick it into a lot of foods. Um, it, it has a huge amount of estrogen. Of course, this throws off the hormonal balance in your body, and we could go on and on. Soy is a terrible food. You know, whether it's tofu or tempeh, you name it, stay away from it. Sugar, stay away from any kind of processed sugar. Um, you know, all sugar in particular, they always say sugar is sugar, meaning the sugar, sugar molecule is a sugar molecule. But the problem with processed sugar, it is so highly refined and it's so pure, it goes into a food. I mean, it just really spikes your insulin. So avoid sugar. If you ever take sugar, if you ever take, and take any sugar, make sure you take some spirulina and chlorella with it because the protein and the chlorophyll will help modify that so it doesn't, you know, spike your sugar level. Uh, you become a diabetic. Processed foods. Processed foods, what kind? All kinds. Um, you're going to find processed foods in the supermarket and probably, what, 95% of it, maybe more, is processed foods. I'll just say for 40 years, I have not bought anything out of a box or a jar or a can, ever. Uh, I just don't do it. I mean, you don't know what's in there. And even if you read these labels these days, I mean, they're putting all sorts of things in there and they're hiding it, you know. Um, you know, for instance, genetically engineered foods. That could be anything, you know. Uh, flavoring that could be anything so they kind of hide these things what they're really putting in there but I you know I it's been well over 40 years back when I used to live in New York uh, you just I just stopped buying things uh, you know um, out of a out of a jar or out of a can or out of you know a box or anything like that and it's tempting because it's quick but anyway I've always when I was a cook foodist I bought my foods and I and I cook them and then when I became a raw foodist I go to the produce section and that's all I eat uh, next would be fried foods now fried foods are extremely dangerous they're one of the most dangerous things you can put into your body um, they make food taste great when I used to live in Israel you know you get a I first tried a falafel I mean they're just delicious and they have these incredible french fries you know they make down there it's amazing stuff but it's poison and I've traveled all over the world and I'm gonna tell you you know people fry their foods everywhere in the world I you know lived in Taiwan for a while <laughs> you know they fry their foods like crazy over there they love that so I've made several videos about fried foods how terrible they are for you they're pure poison they're absolutely poison. There is not, you know, is it literally one of the most caustic, terrible things, toxic things you can possibly put into your body. Fried foods of any and all kinds. I don't care if it's home fried uh, foods that you make. I don't care if it's uh, fried foods on the street. Doesn't matter. Fried foods are pure poison. Fast foods. Well, that's McDonald's and that's In and Out Burger and. You know, I, I didn't really grow up on that kind of food, but when I got into my teens and we started going to the track and cross country, they always took us to McDonald's or Burger King afterwards. And, um, you know, it was free food. They bought the food for us. But, you know, this is just poison. It's just garbage. I mean, you don't want to eat any kind of fast food. KFC, chicken. Uh, they're, the, I think, one of the biggest in the world now is KFC. I think they're right behind McDonald's. But just stay away from all these places. You don't know what's in that food. Um, I knew a friend of mine back in high school, and he used to wor work at this burger chef. And, um, you know, he one day, you know, started feeding the burgers into there, and he saw the mold all over it. And he says, I never ate in this fast food place again after that day. I mean, this is in high school. So, um, he, that, you know, he's not any kind of health fanatic, but he could see what that food was. So stay away from fast foods, any kind. Don't go into those places. It's poison. HFSCS, which is high fructose corn syrup. Um, it's in everything. They put it everywhere. You know, Coca-Cola used to spend around 15 cents to sweeten their Coca-Cola, their, their garbage, their poison with sugar. And now, then they got uh, high fructose corn syrup. Now they spend like literally less than a penny to give you the same sweetness. 
But, you know, they make that stuff, uh, high fructose corn syrup, that's made in like hazmat suits. You know, that's highly toxic, dangerous stuff. And at the end, you get this corn syrup and it's really sweet. Uh, it is poison. It is toxic. It needs to be avoided at all cost. Trans fats, that's the next one. Trans fats are in everything. They're, um, probably, they're supposed to say trans fat on the label, and that just never really happened. That was back in 2006. Anyway, trans fats, partially hydrogenated oils, uh, they do that because it's stable. You know, that's the kind of stuff you put into Twinkies, and they put it in all these candy bars because it's so cheap. And it'll make your Snickers bar last, you know, six months longer than it normally would have. So um, stay away from any kind of trans fat, high, partially hydrogenated fat. Any kind of fat that's cooked is really dangerous for you. Um, but uh, in particular, trans fats. Um, and by the way, you're taking this, uh, this carbon molecule and you're flipping it over. That's why they call it trans fats. And it just doesn't fit into the receptors in the body anymore to feed you. So it's just there. Uh, it really doesn't have any taste, trans fats. It's just there for st shelf stability and it's so cheap. And so that's why they use it so much. Likely modified food, it's supposed to begin with an eight. I, I've never seen any food anywhere on the store that begins with an eight. If you have, send me the label, I'd like to see that. But uh, they don't seem too big on disclosing that anything they do is genetically modified. And we go back to soy, almost all soy is genetically modified. Every soy product now has been made from beans that are genetically mo modified. So stay away from GMO anything, including uh, soy, you know, beets, they're almost all now, they got the red beets. The red beets are all genetically modified. Um, so, you know, any, anything that's GMO, genetically modified, stay away from that. That's actually my next category. And, um, you know, if it is a GMO food, I mean, they, they have taken genes from this area and removed them or moved them or added genes. Um, they make them bug resistant um, so they don't get eaten up. I mean, it's just weird stuff. I mean, this is Franken food. I would avoid it at all costs. Anything that says genetic, genetically modified or genetically engineered foods, run the other way. And that's why when you go to your own garden or you go to the produce section, at least you can say, wow, that's a bunch of, that's some broccoli. You know, this is this is some corn. I mean, it looks, I mean, they genetically modify all the corn these days. Um, it, almost, that's another one. They do so much of that too. But um, at least you can see these are apples and they, this is what this, you know what you're getting. Whereas if you look and you get it out of a jar and everything, um, it might be apples in there and there might be some other stuff. So, but any, anything that's genetically modified, run the other way. Uh, animal protein, meat, fish, eggs, or dairy. I avoid them all. They're terrible foods. I'm, I'm kind of really tired of saying to people that um, these are horrible foods. They're, you know, if, animal protein are, are just middlemen. Animals are, you know, we, everything we eat is a vegetarian, like a, a cow or a chicken. All the fish we eat. Um, every all those kind of things they're all vegetarians so they, they're just eating the food and then you're eating them so it's a secondary food source you should eat from the plant world that's why I do I mean it's not that I wouldn't enjoy eating or the taste of a nice big pizza okay or maybe a burger I mean I haven't had any of that in 40 years but hey so no, I'm not gonna eat this it's not good for me so yeah I kind of look at it that way and I always think about as I said so many times this is your temple and you got to think what you're going to put in this temple because I know we love the taste of these foods. And the only reason people eat animal protein is, well, it's two reasons. Number one, um, they like the taste of it. And number two, um, you know, they're mista under the mistaken impression that it's extremely um, healthy for you. I saw somebody come on Joe Rogan uh, six or eight months ago. I did a video about it. Uh, meat is absolutely the healthiest, most perfect food on the planet. <laughs> meat is the most nutrient-dense, perfect food for humans it just is i mean if you go out and you shoot a deer and bring it back that's you know wild meat wild game that i would or, you know animal protein meat that um that i would even consider because so much of it is contaminated now even the fish you know factory farm fish stay away from it it's terrible it's really got a lot of things going on there and you won't get any essential fatty acids out of farm fish you know they're feeding them this other types of grains and stuff like that they're not feeding them the algae that has the fat and then it's the algae that they they get the fat and then they accumulate and that's when you get your essential fatty acids from fish so, um processed seed oils um they're so they're everywhere i hear about them all the time 
Um, there's an account on Twitter called Process Seed Oils or something like that. They're just poison. They're the same thing. Canola oil, that's rapeseed. You know, you want to stay away from that. Vegetable oils, um, you know, these were all invented um, by the, the processed food industry decades and decades ago, and they kind of hooked everybody on it. Hey, there's this clear oil. Uh, what they were doing in uh, Taiwan, there was a terrible, um, a really, really terrible scandal because they were basically cooking all the oil and then just taking this oil, this oil companies, right, these, this food company, and they were filtering it out and it looked like brand new oil. Well, you know, I mean, it looked like fresh and it was just filtered out clear. This thing had already been used and this is incredible. Well, I mean, uh, they, uh, the people of Taiwan, I mean, they were not happy. It was a major scandal because everybody uses oil over there. Um, so and it got totally um, contaminated with this, this oils and GMP good manufacturing practices. Um, it was actually the the guy that runs that. Him and his son were in on this scandal and this scam, and they they hurt a lot of people with this poison they were just putting in there. So uh, if you're going to eat um, you know fats, you got to eat them raw. Um, Udo Erasmus, the uh, author, and uh, you know I interviewed him a couple times of fats that heal, fats that kill. Great guy, really nice guy. Uh, he's got a, something called Udo's Blend where he put these oils together. Even if I eat some olive oil, I am really, you know, I really do no more than a, maybe a tablespoon at, at, for a whole salad or something like that. You got to watch the oil. It's so easy to become rancid um, and so and so easily, um, you know, break down. So, and this is why, you know, you always see the smoke point on on oils that means when will they begin to break down at what temperature so the higher the smoke point the better the more stable they are basically look at uh, uh, the best uh, fat of a seed that you can have out there is hemp seed I have some every single day I put on my salads and another one um, Iruto Erasmus told me if you take sesame seeds sunflower seeds and um, and flax seeds and grind those up that's a perfect balance of essential fatty acids so what you could do is take that and then uh, you know put it into your food you don't want to cook it um, don't ever cook any kind of an oil any kind of nut or seed or anything like that don't don't roast it or anything uh, you're changing the dynamic of those essential fatty acids uh, completely so if you were to do something like that you would take it and put it in your food whatever you put it in your salad or stick it in some soup or whatever you got and that put the rest into the freezer because that'll go rancid on you in about 20 minutes. So there are the top foods, if you want to call them foods, they're not, not one that um, I would call a food that you want to avoid. Um, fish and of course, genetically modified foods. Just ke keep away from these things. I mean, you don't know what they've ch how they've changed it, what they've done. This is Franken food. Stay away from it. Eat out of your garden. Do your own sprouting and get everything from the produce and go to go to your farmer's markets and which I love doing and then just go and you know stay as much as you can try not to cook your foods stay raw that's the law and you'll be healthy as I am and you'll feel fantastic all the time clear-minded full of energy Dr. Bob see you next time hey folks check out all my books on amazon.com uh, I've written seven books now uh, but this one's on audible silver the miracle mineral end of infectious disease uh, the cure in the mirror nature's protocol for surviving cancer that's on audible and then my most popular book I have sold tens of thousands of these books through the years never promoted it never marketed it it is the miraculous properties of ionized water the definitive guide to the world's healthiest substance third edition I revamped the whole thing it's on audible too so those are all read by the author's voice my voice and I hope you like them